This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. The man, good having you here, bro. Great to see you. It's been a long damn time, bro. You just touched me and I smelt weed. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? Some things don't change, right, man? No, well, you know, whatever. It's fucking legal now, you know? It's That's not like it. back in the day. No, no, but even then, I still would have smelled like that anyway, probably. Yeah, no, we had a lot of good times. We did, dude. Where huh. did you guys first connect? In now, are we going already? Yeah, we're, oh, in, we're right. in it. Yeah, we're in it. Um, New York Comedy Club, I yeah. think. With Al and that 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 uh, George Foreman grill, they used to have right next to the, the cash register. Yeah, they literally the lady be taking your money, and then she would reach over and grab a Foreman grill and push down on like a quesadilla or oh, oh, wait, oh, ch- yeah. oh dude, it was like the right level there. of health code violation. <laughs> and these people would still order food, and the place was a dump. Right. And they literally, I was so fucked up. They had this little cash register. And then, like, they didn't even have, like, the proper, like, height. They had, like, a stool. So she was, like, higher than the register. Everything was bootleg. And she would take the money and she would literally lean over and press down on the thing. It was, like, uh, I'm, I'm literally, it was amazing that people, I'm, like, I remember being on stage and someone's eating them. And I'm, like, you watched, right, with the grill while you were yeah. online and how they made. And he's, like, yeah. And I'm, like, no, no problem with that at all. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the darkest like most like i'm not gonna make it like i i don't know if i have it in me i don't know if i'm tough enough to be in new york thoughts came standing in there watching that and then looking at the fucking headshots on the wall like they just uh-huh. had like i mean people you never heard of. <laughs> right. yeah and, and all of them had that look in their face like, like they were right. gonna make it you know what i mean it. i'm on my way to, to stardom and you could say, well, oh, that, that fucking place. I used to mop and sweep there for stage time. I know, know I used so. to clean the bathrooms. Yeah. Wait, wait, you did right. that there? Bathrooms, no, I didn't have to, but I mopped and swept. Oh. And there was a guy named Ozzy who lived in the basement who did that. But this place was such a dump that like one time the ceiling was leaking. And instead of not having a show, Al Martin had, remember like Phil Tag? Remember yeah. that guy? Yeah. yeah. So he'd have all these guys who had spots perform with an umbrella. So they're on stage because it's leaking on the stage and they're performing with an umbrella so they don't get wet. And he's up there with one of his workers trying to top the roof. Like you said, because the name back then, he was called New York Comedy Club. So you come to New York and, you know, there's no internet or anything. You're like, where should I go? New York Comedy Club. That's got to be the best. He had the name. Dude, the only time Zilli I ever saw wanted somebody, to buy the name off. I saw somebody perform with an umbrella. I was... I forget what it was, but it was one of these old hair metal bands from back in the day, and it was an outdoor gig, and it was sort of raining, and the guy had like a toupee, and it was just there was going to be a problem. There was something going on with his hair system, and but what was funny was he had like a fucking rock and roll like umbrella, like it was like purple and black with like fucking bats on it. It's like it's not an umbrella, it's a fucking rock fucking thing. But what was funny was he had a sense of humor about it, like he was singing all these badass lyrics. <laughs> also sort of like twirling it and looking over with it like i was like all right man. i right. mean if you're gonna have like a fucking wig you you gotta you gotta be laughing at yourself so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we gotta protect this thing we all know what's yeah, going it's on it's funny listening to guys singing about the devil and getting blowjobs as he was fucking holding on to a, <laughs> an umbrella with fucking with a wig on so uh i feel like you guys got stories like that in these comedy clubs that i just don't I don't have or never really encountered like umbrellas, leaks, right, grills right. by the uh, the cashier. Yeah, but you started. You I started st- here. You started in hell, <laughs> well, I, and you also started in the one one of like when the store was just like I couldn't even go in there. Like when you were working in there, like it was coming out of that. But the fucking store in the late nineties, I went in there and it was the most negative. Parties over, fucking bleak. There was no one in there. There'd be like oh. nobody in the crowd. It's like a danger fields vibe almost. Big time. Yeah. And then with like all of these uh these guys would come in who had sitcoms or movies or something like that, and they would go up there and just bump everybody and yeah. do fucking 90 minutes or two hours. And none of them had done any any work. They hadn't worked on their acts or anything, and they would just have to lean on the mic saying, I'm always just leaning, yeah. Huh. What else is going on? Just being uh, up there because they could. Yeah. Bumping yeah. everybody and teaching God. everybody that, you know, 
I felt like people were like, yeah, when I get famous, that's what I'm going to do. I'm yeah. going to go up there and ruin 20 comedians' <laughs> nights and have absolutely fucking nothing to say. Ugh, that's I, I hated so that true, place. That's true, man. Because I, even looking back on the comedy cell, I'm mean, not naming names. I can remember, I'll name the good ones. Like, remember, I always admired about Chris Rock. He went up, he did what his new stuff worked. he wanted. Seinfeld and, worked. And, yeah, yeah. Worked. They worked. And, and then, yeah, the lean against the wall. What's. Even like, you know, I'll say with uh, Dave, when they go, he did seven hours. Like you know, when he was breaking these records, Chappelle was going really long. <laughs> I seen him order sushi at the strip. He ordered sushi, got it delivered, put it on the stool and ate it. So like, that's one of the hours, yeah. you know? <laughs> hey, so, it's, did he get any wine? I mean, that's, that might be an hour and 10 minutes. I just remember with, yeah, when they were doing that thing, when they were trying to break the record for the longest, yeah, you yeah. know, on being on stage. I was just picturing like five hours in, you're like, and what's up with lamps? <laughs> yeah. you just like going through the dictionary of every single like topic. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. a bizarre thing that happened, I think for like six months, where there was a handful of like people competing yeah. right to the, do the longest set ever do, do, do you have you ever been on stage more than an hour and a half two hours i mean uh, two i think one time hours? i accidentally was on for an hour and 40 and then i felt bad i was in england and i had uh and i was doing warm-up gigs for a, a bigger gig and i was just you know i was getting close to like doing a special so i had what i wanted to dump and then what i was going to replace it with and it just became this fucking this double album that no one needed to hear. Uh -huh. So like, I've only done that like one time, but I'm like, uh, you know, I, I always have like two outs at the end of my act. And if I feel they're still in it, but if I feel like it's starting to get like, you know, leave them wanting more is, is one of the great, yeah. like, you, you you can't have them. The worst is when you get ah, kind of, oh. ah, yeah. you see him oh. like getting up. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that yeah, feeling of like, right, that that mutual thing where they're looking at you, you're looking at them like it's time. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> we've tried every which way to make this a magical, like a couple's date. Yeah. You, the checks come. You've had dessert. There's the coffee, and it's like the, or you're pitching a show. You just you there's that. You got to sense those moments in life for people. Uh, like I think it really affects you know getting invited back to perform to do stand up or to pitch a You're show right like, man because yeah. you have almost in your head like mentally i'm trying to tell them remember all the fun we had 30 20 minutes ago we had a lot of you know right now we're not dismounting with the same magic we had earlier <laughs> yeah. but remember the earlier it was a lot yeah. of fun earlier well, damn is, it's is a it... relationship there's ups <laughs> <Yeah>. and downs <laughs> right right you're just gonna throw it away but when you're doing your shows, do you have a set amount of time? You're like, all right, I have to give these people X amount of time, like an hour and 15 or hour and 20. Or does it It just every night, it could be 110, it could be 120. Are you trying to give them a certain amount where they leave going, oh, okay, that was. I, 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 when I, I can feel when they've, they've, they've getting to, all right, all right, we get it. You, you cool. know, you tell jokes, you know, when right around then, then I, I thank them for coming out and I go into the closer. Then can come out, gives them a break. They get okay. Here we go. So the people have hope. Okay, I'm I'm wrapping it up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then you give the jerk offs the chance who want to beat traffic. Those assholes who the yeah, whole yeah. time were fucking like this anyway because they didn't want to go, but they chicked it or vice versa. They can get out of there, and then you just do your thing, and then and then you know, and then you get out of there. I never, I've never done the uh, here's the last joke thing, and and, right. and I think after hearing that explanation, I think it might work because. I'm just doing it, and they're like, "Okay, it's you know, when is right. it? When is it coming?" And it's like a surprise. Wow, it's over. Yeah, and some of them are relieved, and some of them are, you know, you know, wanting more. It's just, I guess, you got to feel. It's what, a, what, what, it's a courtesy too, as we get older, for the bathroom situation. If you're giving me a dismount time, it's letting me know should I go pee now, sit back, and really enjoy the close. Yeah, or should I, I, I went and saw a legendary comic one time. He did two hours. And uh, I left at like right around like an hour 30. I was like, I just can't fucking. I don't think people could sit through I it. can't sit here anymore. Mentally, you get tired if you're really trying to listen too. I think that, you know. No, I and think. I remember he was a legend too. So people were kind of like, you know, what it was was I was with Nia and I was going, all right, you leave first. Just leave your coat. So people think you're going to the bathroom. I'll take the hit. And then they left. This is a long time ago. So no one knew who the fuck I was. So um, then she left and I grabbed both the coats. And I just remember the people in the. Because this guy was, uh, you know, I wanted to see him. He's a legend. He what? He's not from America. I went to go see somebody, uh, a legend from somewhere else, and and the person was amazing and everything. But like, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> 
It was like it was becoming like a jam band. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, is this fucking song ever gonna end? My God, how about a fucking different something? My I like the the move though. Leave the coat behind. I'll come with both coats. You know, because yeah, now you gotta take the hit for yeah. your wife. That's it. Now, you go out and everybody's just thinking you go. You know, powder your nose, and then I'll. Oh, she was leaving, right. and then I get all the dirty right. looks. And uh, yeah, we went outside. We were just laughing. I was. I just was telling Sebastian because last week my wife and I went to see right by us Chautauqua Institute, the school place, and Bonnie Ray. We went to see Bonnie Ray. Like I don't know how well you know, but like a big hit is. Make me an angel that flies to Montgomery. It's uh, that's Bonnie Raitt. Yeah, well, she covers it, and she's got the I most was, famous let's cover. Let's give him something to talk about. That's second biggest How hit. How about love? Yes. You think I don't know what fucking redheads are doing in this business? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. She's never sent me a thank you letter. Like she's always viewed me as competition. I respect the guitar playing, but we need to smooth some shit out <laughs> yeah. on stage. Oh, she still looks great too. Again, I'm All attracted right. to seven year old women. <laughs> Bonnie and then me as far as the oldest people redheads oh, in this business. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. So she does that song though, right? Looking great with the red hair, second to last song. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, we left, some people left, you know, and uh to be traffic. And I wonder like, is she just grateful for that song or even after all these years, if she's like it's still even after that one like like no you gotta uh i would think you gotta just put yourself into a mindset you gotta say it's a fucking job and they're coming out like comedy we're lucky in that sense yeah where uh, you know people don't want to hear the joke again so it forces you to keep going like i feel like uh musicians they just gotta find a way to make it new again that's what's hilarious about sting He's been like some of those old police hits. Now he's doing them as like sambas yeah. and fucking nursery, right? Is, is if the five, if you're five years old, here's this version of Roxanne. <laughs> he's playing it on like a kid's xylophone. But he, but he was smart. I felt like uh, where he, you know, once he left the police, what he did was just completely different. And he established that I'm not going to keep doing the same shit. So yeah, you know yeah. that. But I feel like these other people, like, um, like you know what song came on uh, yesterday on the radio it was. Uh, 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 that Eddie Grant song, uh, Electric Avenue. Oh, oh yeah. And I was I like, how the fuck song. did he never have another? He was so different. Yeah. He was just so cool. And uh, and I was just thinking, man, somewhere. Right. He's somewhere right now, down in the casino. <laughs> Out yeah. in the streets, yeah. there is <laughs> violence. <laughs> <laughs> Always last. No, but I bet you got to be a fucking pro. Right. And you got you to like, do it. Yeah. 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 Some of them now I've seen <clears throat> will open with it and close, close with, with it. it. Yep. Yeah. So don't think it's not coming back. With yeah, but like you got, dude. Both of you guys, it's like so fun to be hanging with you guys. I I think the world of both of these stand ups and the bits and stuff and like a, one particularly of yours that I think of all the goddamn time is the winter where I live. I rub my back on a wall like a bear when you do the bit oh, about yeah, guys yeah, yeah. and I dry skin rubbing the back. It's a fucking great bit. So no, the guy was so fat he couldn't and he couldn't get back to reach it. <laughs> right. You but like you don't even have to be fat to do that. I've, well, all men do that without putting the lotion on. You were talking about rubbing your back up there. It's your back. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And um like, don't you ever, and again, you got some bits from the past, like that orange genie you haven't done in a while. Do you ever like wish, like, I wish tonight, I feel like doing it. I wish I could do that without like. No, I don't. And I, and I don't remember them. And then a lot of, a lot of this shit that I said, I don't even believe anymore. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. You don't got the same piss and vinegar behind it that you used to Well, be, yeah. Right? Like all that shit yeah. I was saying yeah. about yeah. trashing women and shit was the opposite. I wanted to get married. I wanted to have a family. Oh. I just didn't realize. I couldn't figure out what the fuck was wrong with me. Oh. So I went the easy way. Yeah. I blamed them. Yeah. You know, couldn't possibly be me. You know what I mean? So well, that's a good way to like never do the material again. You know, yeah. it's like it comes from a moment in time. Well, that's a joke I've been doing in my act saying because I just took mushrooms and it kind of cured me of all my misogyny. And then you come down from the mountain and go into the matrix and then you meet your first cunt. And you're like, all right, well, you know, I wasn't all wrong. <laughs> I just got to understand. Yeah, it's you got to stop speaking in absolutes. So, yeah. so what is what is it? How did you get turned on to? Have you done mushrooms prior to doing mushrooms this time, or what? Uh, no. What, I, what is with the mushroom craze? There's a big huh? everybody's doing mushrooms now to find themselves. Is this yeah, a, and it's like it's it's sort of like uh, what happens? What ha what happens? <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, I did mushrooms once in college. And I was going to say, you're too controlled. 
Yeah. To yeah. Fuck, like, what oh, yeah. I want to know what. Tell me. Yeah. Walk me through my trip <laughs> yeah. before I yeah. have it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give me. A, I want an I don't want to let go on any level. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I was. Is like, there an exit ramp <laughs> during the trip if you're not enjoying it? <laughs> I was supposed to do it with somebody, and the guy right. left me. Right. And I was the president of my fraternity, and a lot of alumni were coming up, going, "Where's the money?" And I'm like, "Oh, I want no. mushrooms, man!" Right. Like, I, and then I ended up crying in a corner in right. my yeah, fraternity right. house. That's so, what happens. So, yeah. so <laughs> your first trip, you usually end up crying. If you're a comedian, you're probably going to end up crying because right. you, <laughs> you figure out why you, you became a comic. <laughs> <laughs> like you see, all, uh, like it all made sense to me like after the first one. But then after, you know, then if you do the work, you go to therapy. It's one of those things where it's like anything. You can do them where they can help you or you can just be a jerk off and be like, and then I took him and there was a dragon talking right. to a butterfly yeah, yeah. and they right. asked my opinion. Right. Like those fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. like they don't get anything. Like it, it's supposed to be like this spiritual thing where you learn, I feel like you learn about yourself you, and you try to become a better person. But uh, what sucks is they're becoming legal, right. which they're going to go the root of weed, which now I think is just absolute poison. Like back in the day, how much did you have to smoke to get fucking like high? Like now, oh, it's like, dude, it's, uh, I wouldn't take more than one hit of that. Right. Like, like, what is in that? That's not weed anymore. Yeah. I know the nerds got a hold of it and they can turn it into <laughs> right, like some right, right. chemistry liquid shit. But like, dude, like you, you can be like borderline tripping off that stuff, off just smoking some shit where before you'd have to like ingest a lot of it and everything. And uh, there's just something about those legal weed stores right how it looks like a big like tropical Absolutely. fish tank and yeah. shit this yeah. is something about like this oh, looks yeah. like it looks like sugar and it looks like trans fats right. to me and it just it it doesn't look like hell because that because that was a big thing where i'm right. making weed it's natural man it's a <laughs> fucking plant they're gonna do the same thing with mushrooms and you know i, I you know i glanced at some on the internet that was saying that all modern medicine comes from prince like the family tree it stops at mushrooms and they're gonna fuck with that and they'll ruin it and uh you know some monsanto will come around and own mushrooms and turn it into like you know eating marshmallows and they'll, they'll <laughs> yeah. fuck it up yeah. they'll fuck it up and politicians will let them do it because they're all grossly underpaid on purpose be so that these guys can own them that's what it is so i, I i'm uh, that's a whole other fucking thing <laughs> right damn how it is no, like, no, it's no, no i don't even like all of these fucking assholes every fucking one of them except jimmy carter they all go on the goddamn st the, the go out and give speeches. They're on a speech tour and they get three, four hundred grand a gig. Right. And who do they talk to? These big corporations because yeah. they did what they want them to do. It's a oh, fucking man. payoff. It's ridiculous. Yeah. The thing is, I find, yeah, what it, what it takes to become a politician is a different skill than being a politician. Like, yeah. it's, like all that stuff is, you're constantly trying to keep your job. So somebody's got to be benefiting. But listen, the chicken thing I want to say about weed, my father-in-law from where I live now, he's like, have you ever had, he goes, when I was growing up, a chicken did and taste nothing like a chicken now. So yeah, that, no. that's, and, and that's they, what they're they doing they with like the like, size. You know, it was bland. It had no taste. Now you don't even need mustard. You can bite into a chicken and <laughs> juicy and delicious. It wasn't like that. Sure the, chicken was always It was fun. a little dry. When we grew up, Bill. It's a little dry. You don't know how to cook. When your father barbecued chicken growing up, you can distinctly remember your mother yelling at your father for burning the chicken. <laughs> Nobody burns chicken anymore. It's impossible to burn it. It self-stops. Well, they it are self stops in, no, at 165. Like chickens are where baseball was in the late 90s. <laughs> yeah. Where it's all Mark McGuire yeah. chicken. Like, I actually saw this thing on food and I had to go to like 20 different places it felt to get an organic chicken that it had not been fucked with. And when I saw it, it looked like a Cornish hen. It was like the size of a fucking, it was like the size of a pigeon. That's I'm like, that's a, I'm like, weed, that, that, that's a chicken? <laughs> yeah. Like a chicken is sort of like triple A turkey. Now, right. You know what I mean? Right. But like back in the day, like if you don't fuck with the chicken, they're not that big. Right. But they found right. out people like breast meat. So they put it all in steroids and they get the chest so big, these fucking things can't walk. And they're like, right. they're it's, no, it's, it's sad. It's brutal. Human beings right. are, are fucking uh, awful. Human beings yeah, are a complete know, failure, and it's God's fault. It's, it's God's fault because oh. he makes he takes no responsibility for it. Oh man, there is no God, by the way. I, I went to church last week, and our church is combining masses. He's like, nobody's coming. He's like, we're going, we're doing ten more funerals for every one baptism. He's like, we got a letter from our head church saying in Western New York, we're cut, we're, we're going bankrupt, is what he's saying. <laughs> It's, oh yeah, no. Because, I'm, I'm I'm thinking well, Scientology. What what what, uh, what, uh, what what religion are you? Catholic. What are you talking about? Yeah, 
All right. Well, it's dead. you know, they rape children. <laughs> right. So, so you're, like my buddy, yeah. my brother said the funniest thing. He goes, dude, you name one other business that would still be open if that's what they were doing. <laughs> it. You know, like Starbucks, if they were raping children. No, no, it wasn't no, all the baristas. No, no, no. It was just a couple of bad ones. I'm still going to go down there and no, buy coffee. No, they have no one to blame but themselves. I know. Dude, they had like Nazi fucking no, money. No. They had yeah. fucking uh, Jewish people's valuables. Like they, they bet on the wrong fucking. T- I get it. If you saw the Germans' cars, you're like, I think they're gonna do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, it's like a football game. <laughs> right. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go with that. We were making Desotos. It's like I'm gonna fucking go with these guys, oh, and God. they lost. And then they were kind of like, oh yeah, uh, sorry about that. Plus, they were gonna take out not only a, a race of people, they were gonna take out a religion. So that was good for their I fucking know, business. And then they come around and talk to you about how to be a good person oh, and fuck out of here. Right. I, but I invested so many hours, bro. What am I supposed to do? Just walk away? I'm wearing no, the clothes. No, no. What do there's, I there's switch to? A Tom Cruise pendant? Okay, I'm wearing the clothes. I was playing stickball. I don't fucking a thing there. I still do this every night. And like that. With my dad up there. So, you know. I'm That's just all saying, right. He well, can Listen. He can be up there, you, and that can be a thing but you can't, that we like, don't understand. But it, right. this this whole fucking thing where they or I understand right. That's true. You're part right. of it. All right, they did have to organize humanity. He could still be a thing. It could still be a thing. <laughs> it can be a thing, but it doesn't have to be what they're saying it is. Right. Just because you don't go to their thing, it's not yeah. like it's like yeah, a right. manager. Like right. I can get you there. You know, I'm the fucking <laughs> porthole. It's like like they're the only way in. It's like no, there's that that shit exists with or without you. So yeah. So, but no, to the, right. back to that rant, dude. We've handled chickens. We've handled <laughs> What else we yeah. got here? Well, <laughs> exactly with that. Yeah, but the shroom. So you're doing it more like Indian esque, like yeah, you got like, sh- like almost sitting in a tent with heated like rocks. Like every and shit, like right? year, year and a half. What I like about it's the only thing that altered my mind. That the next day I'm not like I want to do it again. It doesn't. I'm like, oh, I want to be a better person. I need to work on this. If I do this, me and my wife will get along better. Like it's it's wow. like that. Right. And then like uh, I don't know. I start fucking getting a little whatever, and I'm like, I need to check in with myself. And it's like once every like, you know, year, fourteen months, eighteen months. I've gone like I've only done it like three times. And always well, with somebody yeah, else. It's like, like a shaman that that that, that you. No, yeah, no, that, no. I just always you know I did it by myself. I would. Uh, I don't know, it just gets weird to me, a shaman, and it's always like a white guy. And it's like, who the fuck are you, dude? Stop, stop with this like, with this fucking hot topic mushroom bullshit so you're you going to do it. with the food court. Like, I, I don't want to do that. You got a specific look a shaman should have? Yeah, a shaman, shaman is not a white guy. That, that's outside our fucking, we're not shaman. Safe to say, safe to say, I'll give you that. So, yeah, but like, and like, do you like, um, if you find yourself giggling or something, are you, like as I've done shrooms and I laugh, are you like, do you say that's not what this is about? Stop. No, 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 no. I just you, go with you, it. You do go with no, it. No, last time I did it, I was, right. I was, uh, it's up on this hill up in like Ventura County, right? And like, wait, wait, I was, wait, wait, I was wait, doing I'm it with my wait, 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 do you go? Okay, I'm gonna do it in Ventura, or do you end up there? Yeah. No, no, I'm doing it. Right. You're doing it. It's like yeah, going, no, no. You want to be? Golfing. You want to be in a? Yeah. yeah you you want to? You want to do? Be in a place where you feel like safe, like someone's not going to come up to you and Ooh. ask you where the money for your frat is. Right. Like that was, <laughs> yeah. that's not right. the way you want to do it. Or right? even you don't even want someone to come up saying big fan in that moment. Nothing. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just yeah. want to be by uh, yourself. It's an introspective thing. This, and listen, I don't know shit about it. This is just how I've done it. So I'm just telling you how I did it. So when we were there, I was with my wife and we were both like tripping or whatever. And she was on her own thing and I was on my own thing. And oh, so you were your she, wife. Yeah. Okay. And she was saying like at one point, she goes, I was looking up the clouds and she goes, I saw you waving at the clouds. Like, what were you doing? And I was like, oh, they had turned into like a bunch of like skulls. Like they were going to come. I don't know. Like it was supposed to, you know, like this angry sort of shit. And it was just like my demons. So I just went, wow. hey, you know, I, I know you're in there. And then that sort of ended it. And this cloud came with like a javelin s- stabbed one of them and its head just kept open until it went away oh, fuck, bro. and then it was just sort of like no, i don't think i could do this it, it was cool. like oh, no but you just like you know you're tripping no i know you don't know I, oh my god uh, did the sky turn into skulls I'm so I, think, <laughs> I, I see that and i think this is the way i'm gonna stay because i because i got a bad batch 
and I this, got a bad bitch. <laughs> this is the way it's gonna be the rest of my life. Like, I couldn't yeah. do that. Like All he's right. afraid on Monday morning his daughter's gonna be like, Dad, you ready to take me to school? <laughs> oh god, and I'm gonna be going, there's a skull in the <laughs> yeah, then, building. Then, then don't do it. Yeah, no, I, but I, I'd is, like to try it, but yeah. I just feel like I'm be too paranoid. Well, you can them. you can dip your toe in. You can, you can get a little wavy gravy, and then you can fucking come back. It's all right. All right. Maybe, you can maybe. still hang on to the plane. You don't have to jump out. <laughs> just stick your head out the all window right. a little bit. Do you ever think, though, and I'm not trying to get too deep here, but like, because I feel like if I was in that moment, I wouldn't see what you're seeing in the cloud. And is that because of where just your perception of yourself? Like, like, do you ever feel, bro, you're very hard on yourself. You're always a nice guy. I text you to do this right out of nowhere. I love you guys. Love to come by. Every comic says you're nice. You have a nice, wonderful family. And you're always like, my demon. What? I don't, I mean, you seem like. Well, I mean, it's the, sh it's the shit. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not you and me shit. It's the yeah. shit that the reason why you're in my life right. and how we both ended up at the New York comedy club yeah. and didn't um. have the fucking, I don't know, brains to go this. I'm entering this business. I, <laughs> I should get the fuck out of oh here right god. now. Oh my God. Yeah. So, so um, and then oh. you, God. <laughs> talk someone into being involved too and i was with my wife early on when i wasn't you know just like watching me bomb just yeah it's a scary business yeah my I, my wife was with me and i was not making money <laughs> <laughs> but, and, the, but we what it was was we clicked and we were having fun and that's sort of how she looked at me like this is a fun guy and then uh i don't know we just you know realized I don't know. She was the only person, like, even when I we'd have fights or whatever, and I do that comedian thing, like, fuck this, I'm getting out of this, you know? Yeah. Just going to be me. Even in my fantasy, when I broke up with her, I would still run after her as she was walking away, like, all right, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. And ah, I was kind of yeah. like, and I was actually frustrated with that. I was like, fuck. Right. I was so, that's, that's how much I didn't understand love. I was like, fuck, I can't shake this person. It's, I never, it took forever to click. It's because you love her, you idiot. Right. Um, and I, I was, I was an idiot. I was an idiot. And when you asked me earlier, you know, you want to do these old, I, I can't even go back and watch my yeah. old, cause yeah. my specials. Cause I, um, I, I go, Oh God, I'm going too fast. Or why did I do it? Why did I say that? You should have yeah. done this. And then like, when I, I see some of the shit, uh, that I was thinking or whatever, like, uh, it's, you know, I don't know. I like, that's where I shouldn't be hard on myself. It's like, well, this right. is just part of you getting to where getting to where you're at so. yeah you know yeah. it's like interesting because sometimes now when i do stand up i look out i'll see a grown man in the crowd and i'm like i can't believe a guy like that would laugh at me when i was 30 right because yeah. at my age now you know i could see the funny in a young comic and the potential but a lot of what they say is like so not they haven't lived what i've lived yet you know so you're like you know, we, you think that's what you think, but where do you get to be? No, my you're, you're bringing them into your world. The thing that's a big thing too is being your age on stage. Like we've all know the comics that are still trying to be young and cool at like our age and shit. Yeah, like trying yeah. to see what the younger comics are wearing, or it's just like, dude, like that. Nothing yeah. <laughs> creeps out younger people than the old guy <laughs> trying to be fucking young. <laughs> it's like go on there, yeah. look like the dad that you are. <laughs> like there's not, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> right, right. And no, and then you, you're able to connect with them. Uh, you know, through being well, yourself, you can connect with anybody being yourself. Yeah. The people don't understand, especially you know. I kind of forgive a lot of people in this business because you, you, if you get into this business, there's something about you that you're not happy with yourself. So you are sort of outside of yourself, questioning um, yourself. So, but I mean, it's something you know. It, it was a, it's a good thing to grow out of that. I think. So, yeah. so you reach all the success, and I wonder if you ever feel like uh, uh, anytime you put out tickets on sale, are you nervous that the people aren't going to buy them? Do you feel like because I get I get nervous, like it, it's, it's got to come down soon, right? Or or is it just? I mean, do, do you have a, a an insecurity of? No, because I would do this in front of four people because it's so much fun and I wasn't stupid with my money. And I also am a realist where I know that everybody has their time and you just when you're, you know, on top, you're good. You help people out. You're not a fucking asshole. And, you know, I feel like, you know, if the worst case scenario is, is you come down and you're playing like comedy clubs i mean that was the fucking dream anyway yeah that when we right, were coming up right. like there was none of this arena shit it was like dice did it i think fucking steve martin did it eddie yeah if eddie didn't go he he would have been doing a whole bunch of arenas but like 
Like it was, I remember when I was like in Boston, I remember Damon Wayans came to, to town uh, during the whole um, uh, uh, In Living Color. I mean, that was fucking the, the biggest show ever. Everybody loved it. And he did six shows at the Comedy Connection. And I just remember sitting there going like, oh my God, this is a 400 seater. He's selling all of this, blah, blah, blah. And it was just like, this is incredible. Mm -hmm. And I don't even think that even they even really thought to put comedians into theaters because he could have done it. But like, so I just looked at him and I was just like, that, that's as big as you can get. Him mm -hmm. was Martin. Uh, uh, who else had come along right around yeah. that time? I think Martin played a few theaters. I can't remember, but like, but the people that came, like Bill Maher had Politically Incorrect. He did The Connection. So it was kind of like the dream was, you know, I want to get in at the improvs and uh, you know, play the punchline in right. San Francisco. I want to play all the A rooms. Because mm -hmm. at that point, you know, you were playing like bars. So to actually perform in a place that was for comedy, that people came there for comedy, seemed like a dream. So as far as... You know that that other stuff, like uh, you know, yeah. For me, there. for me, it's not about like you know being somebody that's selling all of these tickets. For me, it's still about getting better as a comic, and and then also you know not working too much so I don't miss my kids growing up. That's a big thing with me. Like uh, I took my daughter to cooking school this morning, and I brought my son along. You know, we stopped off this little French pastry thing. I got him a cookie. He was sitting there. He does the thumbs up. He got to like high five with the thumbs. Yeah. And I'm sitting there a little fucking espresso or whatever. I'm like, this, this, this nothing is going to be, is going to beat this. Yeah. yeah. Like, if I had to choose continuing to sell tickets or these moments, like they, they, you're not going to lay in your deathbed going, yeah, man, Mohegan uh, Sun. <laughs> I know. Fucking sold that place <laughs> out, man. You're not. You're going to think about, you know, uh, teaching your kid how to ride a bike, yeah. walking your daughter down the aisle. Yeah. You know, I took a fucking salsa dancing class last night with my wife. Oh, my God. You want to talk about getting outside your wheelhouse? <laughs> wow. I remember when we stood up, I literally murmured to myself. I said, all right, let the hell begin. And I think she heard me. And then she was kind of cool a little bit. Like, not being like, come on, man. I, I got to make the jokes. Because the jokes were just flying. Because <laughs> yeah. this guy goes, I, I've been dancing since I was 10. I was like, getting your ass kicked since you were 11. <laughs> like, it was just like, he was just lobbing him. <laughs> lobbing him over the net. I'm like, you're a dancer? You look like you fucking work at Mike's fucking New Jersey Mike's. This guy looks like he makes sandwiches. And then, of course, he crushed it. And uh, no, and it was just like, uh, and we ended up having like a great time. And like, that's the things that I, I feel like... Um, Life, man. That's all that I give a fuck about now. Yeah. I mean, I want, like, if you show up, I want to give you your money's worth, and then I just want to go home to my family and fucking hang out with them, and that's, uh, that's it. Like, I had, like, you know, I had some amazing shows this weekend, but just that morning, this morning that I had, you, you can't, you can't even compare, it's com two uh. completely different fucking things. And then did you, did you have this going in prior to you having kids, this is the way I'm going to be, or did you figure this out as... You know, you're, you're, you know, you had your kids and you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, I gotta, no, I, was I, gotta, just I gotta pull naturally, back. So I stopped drinking. I was just like, I was like downstairs, like, you know, I was getting fucking hammered, man. You know, cause you get to the point where, you know, you're making some money and then you can buy like the top notch shit, like that fucking bottle of tequila you got me. It kills me cause I quit right around there. So I never got to try it. <laughs> I never got to try it. Dude, this thing, like the bottle itself look like it the bottle looked like it was worth like a thousand bucks like it looked like these like handcrafted like you know like masonry to make the fucking <laughs> bottle and i poured that for people and they, they think it's amazing but i my thing was uh i used to watch like me tv and i used to watch old series like i used to love watching peter gunn and uh 77 sunset strip and the untouchables and they were all drinking and shit and i would just sit there and watch them and there's there's that english show too that was on uh Peaky Blinders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, how you watch that show without fucking getting hammered is wow. beyond me, right? <laughs> wow. So you were so, a drinker watching TV or that's. Oh, no, I was old school. I could literally wow. sit in the recliner. Yeah. And then my thing was the big Cuba ice. <laughs> oh, shit. And then I would pour it and it had to go up over the ice, right? So it'd be like this much booze. And I'd be like, I only had three. And, and my knee would be like, they were like this big. And I go, it's a home pour. That's what I called it. It's a home pour. I was like, I'm making up for you. Like, whenever you go to those stupid hipster like uh, whiskey bars, they come up with the fucking eyedropper. And the guy's dressed like he just shoot a horse. It's like, what is this fucking atmosphere you're doing here? Get the fuck out of here with that. Pour me a fucking drink. You'd get shot in the old West pouring a guy a fucking 
fucking drink like that, you asshole. <laughs> oh, boy, I yeah. love it, man. Pour me a drink. My, my fucking baby's not teething, you asshole. <laughs> so then it got to the point, right? One night, my wife goes, you're fucking getting hammered every night. What's oh, good? She never gets up. She goes, you right. know, what's going on? You're snoring. Right. I said, all right, you're right. I'll lay off. And she goes, all right, that's the last one, right? Yeah. And it was only two. And I was like, you know, did you see that uh, uh, George and Tammy? Uh, the uh, no. George Joan, Tammy Wynette. He had this thing when he... We do this thing with his teeth. She knew he was going to start drinking again, so she tried to like distract him. So I poured one more, and I kind of waited so she was asleep. And I'm literally walking down the fucking stairs into our bedroom, and I got the fucking thing on this side, and I'm trying not to make like these noises. And I just sort of saw myself going like, "Dude, you're, you're fucking. This, this, this is where you're at. This is where you're at." So. um it was like 2018. I was like, I'm going to just try to take 50 days off. And then the holidays were coming. I was like, you know, one time I took a year off. Let me see if I can do that again. And then I did it. And I was like, well, I never did a January to December because I started in November. Then I did that. And I go, what about yeah. one calendar year birthday? And by then I was like uh, a year and a half in. Uh, and it's so fucking hard for me to quit. It was just like, I don't uh, want to go through quitting again. So I just stopped. And then I also liked the idea that my kids were never going to see me drunk like that's yeah. not a good thing it's yeah. just like i remember when i was growing up my parents didn't drink and i thought they were such fucking nerds so maybe once in a while my dad would have a beer or something but like and i go to some of my friends house and they'd be friday night and we'd go over to you know go out illegally <laughs> drink and they would be like half in the bag <laughs> yeah. and i'd be going like man these people are cool <laughs> they're cool and it's like no they it was they were <laughs> they were not that's not a good example <laughs> You know what I mean? So even if it's the dad, like I got a, a friend who's the drunk. I love you guys. Could be a buddies. I'm like, guy, yeah. just because you are nice, drunk with your kids, yeah, doesn't make it okay to be drunk. Or, yeah. Like, like it's it still, makes it better though. It does. It does <laughs> make it better. Yeah, it's not fucking dragging yeah. your mom down the stairs by her hair. <laughs> That's a little easier. You know what I mean? I had an Irish grandma would give you kisses when she got loaded. Get over um, here, and you're like, oh, here we go with the kisses. So you're right. I oh, like yeah, I liked yeah. it with the whiskey. I really did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You make a good point, Bill. But I mean, I got to say, you say this about the dangling, you know, uh, cube hitting the glass and it's your third one. You said you wouldn't. And then you have a moment. I, like, I go behind my shed before I'm going to go to the mall with my family and I'm doing a one hit. <laughs> Telling my daughter I forgot something in the garage. How come I'm not seeing that? You know what I mean? How come? <laughs> I would say that there's something that you are doing what? that I'm not doing. What's that? Just, yeah. I don't know. It's something that different. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I like, tell you what know. is it? What, 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 is what, what am I doing right <laughs> now? No, I'm saying. I he's also dancing. I mean, you yeah. sound like you're doing nicer family stuff than I am, man. Well, I mean, yeah. I got to, uh, you know, I am not an easy person. It, I haven't been yeah. an easy person to live with. Yeah. And uh, I didn't realize that. Now I realize it. So, I, you know, I kind of, you know, I had to go to a funeral and I just saw, you know, my buddy laying there. And I just was thinking, you know, how fast yeah. life goes by and how, you know, they were talking yeah. about your kids. What about your marriage? Yeah. And it's just like, there's going to be the last night you guys are together one of you is dying yeah, unless geez. you have some tragedy together right <laughs> um and it's know, just like yeah, i just don't yeah. want to be looking back going you know i wish i did this more i wish i yeah why I did know. you fucking like because when i look back on all the stupid arguments i've had i can't remember more than three what they were even about no so it's like what am i doing mm -hmm. right what am i doing so i try to tell my wife that i'm like tick tock on the clock but you know in the moment you're like i know we're getting close to dying but still why the fuck did you do that you know you, know, you still yeah. can't help fighting, you know what I mean? But on the flip side, you you know, what are we supposed to do? Stare at each other all day and be like, we're so lucky. No, 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 like, you, you, can't, know, a, you can't sustain. You, That's like the mushroom thing when you come down from you, like you can't sustain. <laughs> right. Just you fucking, you guys are beautiful and everything's <laughs> awesome. And you guys are doing what you're doing and I appreciate you laughing back there, man. It's like, you just can't. <laughs> You can't sustain that. Right, exactly. At some point, you got to be like, look at this fucking jerk off. Right? <laughs> at some point, you do have to, but that is like, it just gives you uh, like sort of clarity, sort of research. Yeah. Like, hey, man, like, don't, dude, I was, but I'm still like, I had such a great trip with my wife um, that like I was sitting on the boardwalk in AC, you know, just watching these people going by with like empathy. I mean, I was making fun of them on stage yeah. and shit, but yeah. I was just looking going like, why do, why do we let people get to this level you know, like just like all of this, sh like all of this shit that they give comic stuff for. But you just let like a portion of the population drop to this fuck. I mean, right, dude, it was right, like, 
it was man it, it is every like just the lack of himself. information the what they had done to their bodies and they were going to get eat more <laughs> and it was just like oh, oh, oh i know yeah and you were just going like these people just every day just like wrong decision <laughs> wrong decision wrong decision you know and you just see him the whole family's oh, waddling God. past and you're like <laughs> crazy when right? you guys you know burgers for lunch on a tuesday what what just dude crazy. i was just thinking to do like a family photo they got to use imax camera you know what i mean so they can get them all in there because you go come on squeeze in you gotta squeeze in. <laughs> um it is yeah. especially when you see a heavy set family and then their kids like, you know, just they, they wouldn't be that heavy if someone was giving them different food. You know what I mean? It's just that simple. Yeah, it's that simple. Yeah, if they didn't turn the food supply into poison, which they never report on. But if you do some fucked up joke, right. you have a better right. chance of trending right. than people that have done that to a whole boardwalk. of fucking <laughs> people. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's, it's just good. like, that's, that's yeah, we're soft thought. targets because we don't pay for advertising. So they could just fucking go. Up. Dude, there was this kid, this uh this kid was like tweaking. I remember one night I went out there, smoke a stick, a cigar, right? And uh, and I just felt, you know, and he came over at one point. He came walking over. He's like, you know, just fucking on my phone. He was like, doing like something like doing this like old school, like throwing punches at nobody. And he was just fucking walking over. And he came over. And as he was walking over, I was just going, no, 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 no. And then, you know, Kenny stood up, just sort of, come on, keep going or whatever. And he just walked away. He just kept looking back like that and everything. I haven't been able to stop thinking of that kid going like, that's somebody's little boy yeah, that right. they fucking love, that they took out for a cookie or anything like that. And you're just sitting there like, there's so many people out there in these situations. And I, I, don't, I don't know. God, dude. When I yeah, it's in, brutal. When we, remember when we lived on the Upper East Side, we could walk to Central Park, right? Build it by me when we yep. first met on the Upper East Side. And I had this little English caucus man. It's a bit of a walk, too. Let's be it honest. was. This is like four or five blocks. I'm making, City it, I'm making it sound like we could see the pond. Yeah. From That's why people know pond. we weren't living on Fifth <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> we not walked even, from the East not River. Not even Lexington, bro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, we were all the way to the end. But So I would take my dog in the morning, a little English caucus spaniel. And one morning, I would let off the leash. This dude, like my dog was over here. And it startled. It was a young dude. And he was clearly on drugs. And you know how I it was it's a couple of roads went right through Central Park. And yeah. Points. The wall would be high on either side. OK. We were right there. He jumped. I go, no, dude, relax, relax. And he got so scared. He just jumped over, landed on the road. A bus slams on the brakes, just misses him. And he gets up and he's just like that. And then he just runs off like a deer, <laughs> you know? And, and again, same thing. I'm thinking like this, like the parent even know this kid is doing this shit. Like, you know, I love how beautiful you made it sound like a deer. <laughs> <laughs> like I was feeling bad for him. And also I'm like, oh my God, this guy. <laughs> Is he, but is he he's a, he's a dancer. Back? Like, I'd love to show him the video someday going, bro, do you remember what you did last Saturday? <laughs> Let me show you. This was you. he go, holy shit, I did that. <laughs> you know, like, they don't even know. It's crazy. They don't even know what they're doing. But you're very, like, right now, you're in a very good place. You know, I'm more of a every man for himself. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's, hey, that's, listen. Uh, they, they put you into that fucking mindset. Every time you board a plane, they put you into that fucking, <laughs> that fucking mindset. They use the same rules of racism where I'm a little better than you because wow. of fucking some stupid fucking oh. dumb reason. Well, I don't know than, what you're saying, but I was middle aisle all the way. Down. <laughs> no, no, no. Middle like those, seat. All right. I like, just want you to know that. What it? Yeah, I don't know. It, right. it, it, it's right. it's like the amount of fucking people pre-boarding that do not oh. get on any of the criteria. Like, <laughs> if I was running the country, I would. Those are the people I would gas because right? they don't give a fuck about get anybody. Get rid of the overhead. Get rid of it, and nobody yeah. will be in a rush because if it don't fit under your seat, you don't bring it on, and then nobody gives a shit when they're getting on. It's Some all would bull still be trying to bring a yeah. fucking St. Bernard with oh like a carry God. on around here that has their fucking <laughs> care yeah. package in it. Someone is always trying to fucking work it. And then they 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 do work it. They fucking work the system. The amount of people getting yep. on the plane who are not veterans, who are not moms, who are not right. fucking limping, and they're just <laughs> walking right. onto the fucking you're plane. Right. You're, you're, no, you're it's right. like what what is I can't stand when I was coming out here, I saw it um, in JFK on my layover, and then when I got to LAX. Mm -hmm seeing a lot of dogs just being walked through the airport. And I'm finding it's always a guy, for lack of a better way to put it, who seems to be whipped by the girl he's with, like mm -hmm. in, in the way that- you It's know, a way to get on the plane first. Yeah, but he's like embarrassed. He's doing that dog walk, embarrassed, like I can't wait to get out of here sort of a thing. But like, well, you're he, doing it though, but you're doing but it. him, I don't have empathy for. No, I don't either. He has no I one to blame for himself. And I tell, that right there is what makes men Jamila. better than women. 
Okay? Ooh. We hold each other fucking responsible. It's like, yeah. dude, that's fucking on you. Yeah. What are you yeah. doing? What are you doing? But I don't. I don't say Women, anything. I if should. it was the other way around, the, he's being abusive and controlling. <laughs> that's so fucking toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I love this shit now with your ex-girlfriend, these fucking poor guys, man. The ex-girlfriends come out and be like, there's some actor going through some shit like that. It's oh, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what the, I, I think, you know, don't show your ass on social media. Is a, that's a pretty fair ass. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I mean, well, why do you have to have your ass out if you're surfing? You can't put on some shorts? <laughs> I'm fucking surfing. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're not. Around. But there's a, She's a surfer. She's surfing. When you when she was done surfing, you're saying she should immediately get out of the bikini and get into something. Uh, I'm just saying. No, I'm not. I'm not even saying that. Right, right. I'm, I'm just saying. Listen, if, I haven't even seen the photos, but I know what you know. I know what that you're talking. But you about. can't. I agree though. Like you I'm a free spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what you are? All right. Taking texts that you someone gave you in a past relationship now and and putting them out there. That's a weak move, though, man. You know. I mean, Crazy. I don't understand. It's like I just read that. Like, why is this my business? And now you know you put it out there, so I'm going to joke around about it. But it's just like you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, my gosh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know either. I don't know where it's all going. I do know though. We talked about this before. You should it, have more lights on in here. It's yeah, not no, fucking hot enough. We yeah, we <laughs> we like to cook the shit out of the. I was going to say, yeah, right? this this is going to keep your interview <laughs> tight. <laughs> as, as I mean, even say this just evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> before I forget, yeah, we, too, I yeah, want to say, dude, ahead. Staten Island, my God, the uh, King of Staten Island, the acting you did in that movie was perfect, oh, bro. Thank you. I mean, thank you. Fantastic. I love it. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. That on nailed it, man. Well, you know, so they gave me a good role. No, yeah, yeah. Play an asshole. It's like I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think they kind of had, uh, 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 Pete was saying that they had me in mind for it. So it wasn't like I, you know, had to uh, audition or anything. So so is that uh, something that you want to continue with the, the, the acting, the stand up, or is it? Is yeah, it's it something if I can, if I can, uh, the right thing comes along or whatever. But I'm a comedian. I'm a comedian and I want to be, you know, but you seem like you have interest. You have. You know, you I the, I do, but I also. Did I, you uh, direct uh, recently? And uh, yeah, uh, and that's. Uh, I'm not allowed. For whatever fucking reason, you can't say when it's going to come out until they tell you. I don't understand. Like this is just like uh, a wasted, you know, opportunity right yeah. here. But yeah, uh, it's going to be coming out. <laughs> but how'd you find that experience? I mean, is that uh, something that you would do again? Directing? Yes, and I've done it again because I I wrote something and I shot it, but I I wasn't in it. I was in it for like two seconds, but to be like the amount of lines that I had and to be directing. And the only reason why I did it was because I, because I had to, because no one was available because it was, it was the, uh, coming out of the pandemic, all the directors had what they were going to shoot and then their next thing. So usually huh. if they just have one thing, you can try to squeeze something in. It's only 24 days. That's all it was. Um, but people are, had, you know, this thing and the last thing. So they already had, so everybody was booked so then they started coming hey man you should direct it and i was like no 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 no. i don't want to act i don't want to be acting and direct that's that's too much and then they were like it's this well it's gonna go away i mean it's gonna go away. i was like and the second i said okay oh like the the um the the level of work that directing is i had no i had no idea like you have to answer every single fucking question like this is when i knew i was in trouble um uh, it, it, we, there was one scene, like uh, our set director, right? Lovely person. She comes up to me. She goes, okay, in this scene, there's going to be a barbecue. And I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. And she goes, what are we thinking? Paper plates? I'm like, yeah, pa <laughs> yeah, paper plates. And she goes, what kind of paper plates? And I was just like, <laughs> fucking paper, go to Ralph's. <laughs> Whatever you find. Like, and then I, then I got in my head going like, oh my God, like some directors give a fuck about this and there's a color palette. Like, oh my God, everyone's going to be like, this guy sucks at directing. And like, it was just like, and you still got to go over your lines yeah. for the scene with the plates. <laughs> and then run back to the monitor and try and walk. Like, I just got to the point that you feel like, guy, we got it. We got it. All right. <laughs> now, even as an actor, see, I would be, I'm, I don't act because I can't, because I, I like, do you even get to the point where you're like in the scene now and you're looking at the plate going, Man, I should have went with the other floor. <laughs> no, because now you're back in direct. No, what it was, the there was definitely, uh, there was definitely instances where, you know, there were shots I needed we didn't have. 
uh-huh. or like a scene or something. But that is normal the first time you do it. So, uh, you know, it was just stuff that you fixed in post, as they say. And what happens if one of your actors isn't getting giving you what you want? That's a delicate dance. How do you do that? Do you just finally wave the flag and go, good job, Tommy, nice scene? Yeah, like, how, do you, how like, do you give the note? Do you give the well, notes? No, nah, well, you just, you just have to, it's like, it, it's no different than like coaching. Some people need a pat on the back. Some people need you to, you know, amp them up a little bit. You just, it's like, a, you just got to figure out how it is that they work or whatever. So um, fortunately, you know, we had a, a bunch of killer actors on there. But if it was going in a direction that wasn't working, I would, I would just come out and be like, all right, we got it that way. Could you just do me a favor? Could you just try it? Like, let's try it like this way. You know, and then the more seasoned people like, all right, so you're not going to fucking use those, right? And just, and they just break their balls back and be like, can you just give me, you want to look good? Do you want to look yeah, good? Right. Give me every option. I'm going to pick the best one. Right, if yeah. I fuck you, I'm fucking me. All right? right. So, it's, you know, there was like stuff like that. And as long as you're able to like, uh, you just don't come out like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> you just knew what? Like that doesn't help anyone. <laughs> Which a few times I've been on, you know, I've gotten yelled at a few times. I one time I got yelled at because they were mad at the star and they couldn't yell at him. And I was I was the fucking little dog. So the fucking guy's like in my face, like arguing a call. And, uh, and I'm just sitting there the whole time like, yeah, yeah, why don't you yell at the fucking $20 million man over there? Huh? I got three lines in this fucking scene. You yell, I'm the problem? I'm the fucking problem. Paging Mr. Herman. Yeah, I'm the problem. All right. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah, so, um, that's smooth. I like that style, man. I mean, if I no, to- uh, well, I there's nothing worse than you know. It's already gonna be hard. Yeah, everybody's going up the same fucking hill. So you just you just be cool and easy and every and respect everybody, and then you 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 have like a good vibe because this this, you know, um, I don't know because I like I said, fortunately, I haven't had to deal with that a lot. But a few times when I have dealt with like performers that don't know their lines, that are late and all of that type of shit. And it's just like, I don't know how they keep working, especially yeah. now where there's just like, it seems like as much as there's more content than ever, the money and everything, everything is just so shrunk down. That's the weird part about it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's still the same amount of work without them. Oh, maybe it's not the same. When they were cutting film, that seems like that was fucking impossible to do. But like, basically it still takes fucking a whole like 16 14 hour fucking days to get what you want like why would you ever go there and turn it into a, a, a 15 hour day or yeah, a 17 yeah. hour day so that's what i was guys just like i'm gonna show up ready to go if this thing slows down it's not gonna be good co- co- yeah I, I never- you got my wardrobe i'm fucking in the shit I'm running lines. You want to do this? You know, you don't like it that way. Give me a fucking line read. I don't give a fuck. Well, yeah. How do you want it? So we can turn around and get the rest of the shit and get out of here. Yeah. Let's just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the whole goal. Yeah. What, once you get to set, it's like, get, get the, how how fast could we do this to right. go home? Yeah. And I never wanted to be the guy that's holding up 150 people to go home. But right. there's people out there, to your point, that, that, that are sitting there, no li- line line and take what the fuck did what were you doing between when you left because yeah yeah and, and when you got here I, I yeah not so, your fucking job right. yeah so i don't well, know when i was writing on the, the kevin james sitcom sometimes like this one actor for example you'd be hearing playing like billy joel and his thing and then we go to do the scene he wouldn't know his line and then kevin would be like well, you know all the words the piano man by heart is that like because <laughs> he's got to do like because you can hear him in there but that's a great way to do it he makes a joke yeah. but he's also Making his point, he kind yeah. of you know <laughs> yeah, shoots yeah. one across the bow before he sinks <laughs> sinks the boat. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh um, man, you were awesome, bro. Are we, have we had a long time? No, no. I want to ask you one more right? question All before right, we leave. And uh, Lindsay, could you get what? Um, yeah. Thank you. Um, the helicopter. I'm fascinated with the fact that you fly a helicopter. All right. right? That's brave, dude. Uh, that is brave. I need to know. Not as brave as driving down the highway out here. <sighs> well, helicopters and me. I, I don't know. Just, just a, a technical question. If you're flying around, <laughs> do you have? Uh, could you land like wherever you want, uh, or do you need like a permit? Like, if you don't want, if you don't land at an airport, yeah, I can't just land in somebody's yard. <laughs> no, could you land in your yard if it's big enough, or even yeah, back yeah, here? Yeah, could you? Could you? Could you land the helicopter? Like today, if you wanted to take the helicopter to my house, 
could you could you land it here without uh, uh, the, calling the, somebody? No, and going, you, you you would have to be uh, you'd have to. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff you would have to do. I don't know what that is. So you could set it up that way it, I, before you leave I, the house. I don't do shit like that. I, I, <laughs> I land at airports. I land on helipads. I have fun. Like I fly up to Santa Barbara. I stop. You know, you go see the town. You come back. I'm not wow. one of these guys out there. Let's go balance a skid on that fucking rock. Those guys <laughs> yeah. and dive bomb here and not know where the wires are. I don't do shit like that. Okay. I, so you're going to Santa Barbara. Right. Do you have to call Santa Barbara ahead of time going, I'm coming in? Or in flight, do you go to the airport? Hey, you mind if I land or, or is it? I mean, it's essentially that. that, that that's asking, what it is. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, okay. So if you were to fly to Burbank, from Burbank to Santa Barbara, the first person you get on with is Burbank. And they have like a recording, which is called the ATIS. And you listen to that and it gives you all the current information. So you know where the wind's blowing, which you know, uh, runway they're using, uh, any hazards in the area, okay? Then then when you make the call, it's who you are, where you are, what you want. Burbank Tower, helicopter, blah, 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 at the transient area requesting westbound departure, and then with Mike would be, and that's the, you know, it's the that al alpha, beta, whatever, every, every 50 minutes or something, they have the new information with, I'm giving you too much information. So then they, they give you clear to land. And then what you want to have is your next radio frequency set up. So you, it's called staying ahead of the aircraft. So the next thing you would have would be Van Nuys. You get on with Van Nuys. You get cleared through their airspace. You either uh, go along the 101, you go midfield or up along the 118. And there's different altitudes you have to be at as they have those jets coming in and out. Wow. Then, this, 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 then you get outside of that. Then you're in a common area. <laughs> you're on a common frequency. Yeah. And you you and then there's just there's visual points that you would make like uh, what is it? It's the uh, Chatsworth Reservoir or uh, it's funny. I can never remember when I'm on the ground, but when I'm flying, I always remember them. And then the, the, the Reagan Library, you're going out there and then you're going to have Camarillo and uh, Santa Paula. You can shoot through the middle and not have to get along with either one of them. You start heading up the coach and then there's a town up there. I always forget the name of it. Uh, I always, it's on my map, though. Um, you get on with approach, Santa Barbara approach, you tell them where you are. And during that time, you listen to the ATIS for Santa Barbara, then they hand you off and you get to Santa Barbara and you say, you know, want a full stop with, you know, November, whatever they have. And then you just come in and, you know, that's it. And there's a charge to land, right? Yep. Uh, there can be. And uh, I'm just getting into that stuff where I just used to fly around looking at fucking cool houses and shit. Okay? <laughs> and there was like oh, certain wow. airports. You know, where they would have more like prickly sort of uh, guys in the tower fucking yelling at you. And sure, you hear them yelling at other people and be like, eh, I get yelled at by my dad enough. I'm not going to land there. I, I can go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not up here to get yelled at. You know what I mean? So I got up here to get yelled at. Yeah, away so from you, you basically, you would, you would, did I turn my phone off? I can basically, I can show it to you right here. I mean, your listeners aren't going to see it, so it would be boring, but I can just show you there's a, there's an app called Foreflight. And you can just map out your whole thing. And then there's, there's, you know, you look at winds aloft. You look at the <clears throat> forecast before you get Bro, this, there. This is a lot, man. Yeah. This it's, is a lot going on. No, man. but it's fun, though. No, but I, like, I, I got to be honest with you. Every time I go up there, it's like, I can't believe I can legally do this. It's such like a friggin' privilege. No. Man. Wow. So much goddamn fun. And um, to just be, you know, the stuff that you can just see when you're up there. It's just, uh, and, uh, yeah, if you fly like around dusk and the sun's going down the mountains and all that, it's just, it's badass. It's and then you come in, you know what's cool is landing it on, uh, you know, when you have, like, I, I, tow, I have a little four-wheeler and I tow out, you know, I tow out this little pad and everything like that. And I, that's my favorite thing, to come in. And as you're coming in, like, with, like, helicopter, you can get caught in your own wash, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're, and you have, like, in-ground effect, like, uh, the main rotor air bounces off the ground and it causes like and you're in your own turbulence but if you just sort of inch it along forward you just stay ahead of it and you can just come in and you just set it down almost like you drive it on mm. like a daisy you just set it down when you first get it like you're not doing it right and then you're over it and then it's like <laughs> you're doing that and the fucking four wheel is right there and you know your instructor's like you know hang in there just sort of you know, you're making too big. A, I always go, you're making too big of movements. Like you're it's drawn on a dime. It's just like, well, what the fuck? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, wow. and then you got to sort of learn, you know, like the best helicopter pilots that I've been with, they, they're, they're barely touching the controls. Mm. And it's really yeah. is all you're doing the whole time is just make it all flying is, is just making little adjustments to whatever the wind is doing to keep yourself in trim, straight and level.
to hold your altitude and all of that. And um, once you get wow. that stuff done, you know, you get yourself some solo experience. Uh, then you can start taking friends. You can just go places. And it's, it's fucking awesome. No, I mean, man. I, I got to give it to you, man. I mean, I will say if I had to do it again, I, I probably would have got a, a, a plane license to, to fly a plane because now I'm kind of interested in going longer. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, it's it's fucking work. You, you can't like it's the helicopter's not like you can put it on autopilot. Yeah, yeah. But I thought they said if you can fly a helicopter, you can fly anything. That's what I've heard from That's pilots. one of those things that they say. Like the yeah. toughest thing in sports to hit a curveball. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never <laughs> flown a plane. I can tell you, uh I think maybe just learning how to fly one straight and level, but you know, I watch those things, you know, I watch this uh this woman, she does the uh aerobatic flying yeah. and like just the breathing she has to do like they're doing that what they're doing they're tight tensing up their body and trying to keep their blood from going to the like leaving their head and going down to their legs so they'll fucking pass oh out. my god i mean well, you're doing that kind of that's flying. what i'm saying yeah, yeah so well you can fly a helicopter you can do that i don't think i can do that so um wow yeah it's it's awesome it's, it's fun but i don't Damn, do i don't do any skill. of that tom cruise shit no yeah i'm not an adrenaline junkie i'm more like hey this is fucking cool this is peaceful i like doing this and yeah, yeah just being able to fly from here to santa barbara yeah. in 45 minutes it's great. That, that's how cool far enough. can you go on a full tank for example can you get all the way up to or down to san diego or whatever yeah you get san diego like it's uh you know three hours and then it also depends if you have a headwind if you have a tailwind or something like yeah. that but like i you know I flew the other day. I did like 2.4 and I went all the way up to like San Inez. And uh, it was where I was with the, uh, my instructor, right? Because I, I, I always go fly with an instructor when I go into a new, new airport so I know how to get in and out. Because there's always something weird. And that's when I was like on the ATIS, it was an uncontrolled airport. So there's no no uh, nobody in the tower. So you talk to the other pilots. But, you know, I have something. I have a glass cockpit. So I have all this great uh, software and all this stuff. So I can look to see you know, if anybody's in the area, but if somebody's flying, you know, some uh, experimental aircraft and they don't have like the, a transponder or something, they could be in the area, but that's something you're just looking for anyway. Right, right. So this thing was like, don't come in. For some reason they said, don't come in straight in. So you got to come in and like join the downwind turn base and go like that. Just That's why I flew with him. But he was going like, you know, I heard Michael Jackson's like Neverland Ranch is up here. You want to go look at it? And I was just like, yeah, all right. So we asked the guy there and he goes, all right, you see the fucking mountain there? You see that triangle? He goes, fly right at it. It's right to the left. So we go out there and we're just looking, 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 looking. I'll show it to you. And there it was. It was just like, wow. Still got the the the, the, the carnival it's in the back? It's fucking creepy, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. It was fucking creepy. Like the, it was either the sadness of a lost childhood or what they said he did, he did. I mean, I don't know. I mean, the guy got, got acquitted twice. Yeah. But then again, you know, sometimes you have the money. I, I have no fucking idea. Oh, wow. I can show you the. Is it still up and running, or is it like like the animals still there and the <laughs> whole thing, or is it, or is it abandoned now? Like, <laughs> there's something. Um, I think it's only private parties. I think you could rent it. No, out. I think I think uh -huh. it was. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> it was. It was sold. But, could, but they took still, down the Ferris wheel. But there's a merry-go-round. There's a pirate ship. Oh, it's just like it is. It's sort of like his own six. Like what's, what's actually surprising? The house isn't that big. The train pulls up to it. And then you can get on the train and then fucking go out into. I mean, it's it's pretty it's fucking weird. Whoa. No, it's funny thing was like, oh my god, there it is. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, that kind of was like the. Uh, you the don't bar. get to ride the train for free. Remember <laughs> Otto and George? You don't give him. He used to do great Michael Jackson jokes. Otto and George. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah. Well, so appreciate it. I know you took okay. a, some time out of your day uh, to hang with us. So we'd like to give you a little meat and cheese tray from uh, the Beverly Hills Cheese well, Store. I, you know, well, I, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be uh, two <laughs> Italians if I didn't leave some fucking cold cuts and cheese. I must not have killed. There's no wine to go with it. All right, leave it at that. We, we know you're not drinking anymore, so maybe yeah. go home and no, no, put yeah, 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 so yeah. It's all good. And, yeah. uh, and so yeah, there's, there's apricots in there. Uh, yeah. So is that good or bad? Yeah, no, it's nice. It's nice. Uh, it's, it's nice. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So you know, just go home and, and uh, enjoy. Oh, yourself. Yeah. You're saying you didn't just get me the basic. No, no, we put it. We put it. This is customized for your for your liking. Okay. Right. So yes. so yes. we appreciate you coming out and hanging I, out. No big worries, time, man. It, man. All right, big time, all right, cool. I thank love you, you guys. Thank you for having me. Same I appreciate here, bro. It. Love thank you, everybody. All Four right, live guest we ever had, dude. There you go. Yeah, totally.